We're on our way to the old mining town of Crown King. Located in the Bradshaw Mountains of Arizona, originally named Crowned King, it began as a gold mining town back in the 1870s. When the area mines closed, the railroad tracks were taken up. It's now a 27-mile graded gravel road, and this is where we're going to start our trip. The first town we came to is Bumblebee. It was originally a stage stop. Now it's a small, sparsely populated town with a handful of homes. The sign touts 11 people, 32 horses, and 158 cattle. About 15 miles up the road, we came to the town of Cleator. It was originally an ore train terminus and a transfer and smelting center. James P. Cleator bought out all the property in 1905, and his descendants owned the entire town until it was sold to a private investor in 2022. A fun fact about Cleator, they claim fame to the Cleator Yacht Club. At last count, they have over 10,000 members. Bradshaw Mountains were considered to be the richest gold-filled ranges in the world. The Crown King Mine was the largest in the area. However, they faced problems hauling processed ore down the steep mountain slopes. Railroad tycoon Frank Murphy had the idea to lay a track there, which was known as Murphy's Impossible Railroad. The track climbed a series of switchbacks several thousand feet up the grade. Each switchback was a mile long. The engineer would drive his train forward over the first mile stretch, stopping just beyond the switch. A crewman would get out and throw the rail switch. The engineer then backed his train onto the next section, repeating the process again and again, climbing up the mountain until he reached Crown King. Over its lifetime, since 1890, it's estimated the mine produced $1,840,000 in gold. 
We took a little detour off the road here. We're about, I don't know, 10 miles maybe? Five miles, 10 miles outside of the town of Crown King. I just wanted to show you around. Gorgeous area. We're gonna try and get some drone shots. Bob's gonna set everything up over there. Hopefully we get some good shots before it rains. Sometimes weird things happen when we're out exploring, and this is one of those times. What you may or may not be able to see, Bob's drone was competing with a hawk in the sky. Thinking it's an enemy, birds will often try to attack a drone. The results are bad for the bird and the drone. So to be safe, Bob kept his drone at a lower height for this flight. So this, this was part of the railroad here. Yes. This, these were where the tracks used to be. Because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this would be just about the size that you could get a train through here. Okay, and that's where we're, we're going. Up there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fun times ahead. <laughs> and a half miles to go. Yep. Is there more switchbacks? No, it looks like we're done. You think so? I think so. It looks, it looks like it right there. Okay. Yeah, this is neat driving this right away, right? It is. Yeah. After climbing the switchbacks up to the 5,900 foot level, we arrived at the mountain town of Crown King. As we entered the town, the mill restaurant was on our left. It was closed, but we were still able to get some good photos. On our right was Main Street. Turn right on Main Street. There's a general store here in town, a cafe, and a fire station. You've arrived at your destination. Farmer's Market today. One of the first buildings I noticed was the saloon. I read that when the nearby Oroville mine closed, 
an entrepreneur dismantled the Orabel Saloon and hauled it by mule, board by board, to Crown King, where it was reassembled as you see it here today. We stopped in here for some lunch. A pretty cool place inside, pretty original, a lot of photo ops, and great food. They're working on building a replica train depot that will feature a train-themed bar and restaurant. It's built out of shipping containers and will have four sleeper cars for rent when finished. Reclaimed wood from an old cabin that used to be on the site was also used in the build. It looks like it could be ready to open within the next year. We took a few more pictures of the town and we started making our way back down the mountain. <music> 